out the Henry components. Now remember that Henry's law is essentially a model for uh, very dilute solutions in which we stated that this can be modeled with a line. So instead of actually using a full model, we'll be relating this to Henry rule. Now this is only valid for non-condensable materials, so CO2, nitrogen, oxygen, maybe methane water, whatever material that will be most likely present as gas, whereas there will be a liquid phase. So we need to know that there are two phases, the gas phase and the liquid or aqueous phase. Now the good thing is that Aspen Plus has actually plenty of Henry constants in their databases. So that will be awesome because this model right here, if we are modeling very dilute solutions, will be very, let's say, correctly specified. Now this is of course related to activity models or activity coefficient models that will be seen later on, but those are essentially NRTL, non-random to liquid models, Unifac, Uniquac, Wilson, Banlar, etc. And as stated before, must be available for the solute. So we're going to be talking about solute and one solvent. So this is good when we use maybe water with CO2, nitrogen, etc. So if our solvent is maybe water plus ethanol, we cannot state Henry compounds. Or maybe we can, but the Aspen Plus will not be modeled like this. So ensure there's only one full solvent. So a little bit more on Henry Compens. I just wanted to tell you that be sure that activity coefficients are based for Henry Component as mixed solvent. So you can go to physical environment, then click setup, calculation options, go to the reaction tab, and in the activity coefficient basis component, select mixed solvent.